Hi guys, my name is Gina James Girl and welcome back to episode, we are on episode 12 of Mean Girls Senior Year. Let's go ahead and have a little look. So the Mean Girls are back when you transfer to North Shore High, you find an old nemesis, Regina George. So let's go ahead with episode 12. A chance encounter at the theatre turns your whole Saturday night upside down and leads to a surprising conversation with Damien. Ooh, what's going to happen? Let's find out. It was a week before final decisions were due and I, I still hadn't heard from Yale. My mum was even more anxious than usual. You're on that thing again? I couldn't sit still. My mind is racing. I'm all worked up. That deadline is barreling at us. I am more than aware, Mum. Sorry, but I want to make sure you've done everything possible to put you at the top of that list. I know, and I have. Plus, between the interview I just aced and this recommendation, I've almost clinched. I've never felt more confident. Who is this Alum again? Oh, lie or tell the truth? Why would we lie about that? Let's tell the truth. Oh, it's my friend's dad. I thought we were talking about someone else. I'm so confused. Okay, and he's willing to put in a good word, a great word, is what you need. I'm pretty sure I'm working on it. Okay, plus, all your studying... My mum still didn't know about the play. I told her I'd been staying late for a study group. Uh-oh, she'd be mad if she knew. Plus, I sent Yale my updated manuscript, all A's. I'm in really good shape. I believe it. You've been at that study group until 8, practically every night. Oh, no, this is just going to go... Wrong! Oh yeah, my study group. Maybe this is how I can tell her about the play. You know, it wouldn't hurt if my resume had something a little different, like the spring play. Baby, we've talked about this, I just think it's the wrong direction and it worries me. But what if... Hey, we don't get a choice to whether we're going to tell her or not because I don't know what to do. What if doing this play guaranteed I'd get that recommendation? Honey, you, you can get that recommendation on your own merits. You don't have to run off and pretend to be something that you're not. And I'm sure this alum is sharp enough to see right through that sort of thing. I'm worried about that too. It bummed me out that she thought I was only pretending to care about the play. But really, and it came as a total surprise, the play had become my favourite thing to do. Ah. All day long at school, I couldn't wait to get to rehearsals. Ooh, the bell rings. Acting was the perfect emotional outlet for everything that was going on. But Cassandra, love, it can feel like a fight to the death, but did you rewrite this? Uh-huh, keep going. But if we both set down your weapons, it's not a fight, it's actually a dance. Mika? I thought a lot about what you said about love. I want to connect with my audience, but not alienate it. What do you think? I think... I think it's perfect. What started as a desperate ploy to get in good with Mika's dad has become a true obsession. Yikes. <coughs> ring, ring! Hey Damien! You know, today's the day. I'm going to ask the smoothie guy. I'm going to ask out smoothie guy, and I need a wing woman. If I go by myself, I look like a stalky creeper. Right now? Yes, I'll be way too nervous any other time. I asked Janice, and she's busy with Kevin. Oh, that sucks. You've got to help me, and I'll sweeten the pot. <laughs> My sister left this incredible dress in her old bedroom. Never been worn and seriously gorgeous. Come with me and it's yours. Help Damien for 30. <laughs> oh, can't do it. We can't do it. Sorry, Damien. We've got no gems. Sounds fun, but I can't tonight. First Janice, now you. I'm sorry, but I blew my birthday money on a third row seat to a play in the city. The one Mika told me about. <laughs> Since when did you become Mika level obsessed with theatre? I know, it's really grown on me. Theatre, okay. Right, I want the perfect outfit for my evening of culture. Little black dress, classic blue lace. Oh, let's have a little look at what we're never going to be able to get. Nice. I look incredible for 12. No, you can't wear that. Let's have a little look at the blue lace. That's quite nice, actually. I wasn't expecting to like that. Let's just check. I've got to check them all. I like the blue. 
I'm gonna go with the blue, that classic blue lace. I like that. Perfect. Now that I'm dressed the part, there's just one last thing to take care of. Yeah, I like that dress, that's really nice. Hey mum, heading to study group. Surely, if mum comes out and sees her wearing that. Oh, she, oh uh, yeah, is she gonna see? On a Saturday? Surely her mum could not possibly be that gullible that she's going to a study group wearing that dress. Hey. <laughs> but really, I was hopping a train to downtown. Ooh. She looks very posh. Mika. Greenoid. Hey. I really did not expect to see you here. I didn't even recognise you at first. I was thinking, who's the babe in the blue dress? I'm full of surprises. I was sort of hoping I'd see you. Who'd you come with? Mm, I kind of want to know who he's come with. Uh, I'm going to say full of surprises. I'm full of surprises. Yes, you are. I told you I do more than obsess over getting into Yale. You're forcing me to believe it. It's awesome you came. You'll get to see the pros at work. Exactly. That's why I'm here. And also, I figured I'd take your advice and reward myself with something that has nothing to do with Yale. You know, expand my mind. Who has he come with? I really want to know. That's the signal. Gotta take our seats. We're never gonna know who he's with. Maybe I'll catch you after. I hope. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> do we really have side-by-side -side seats? Uh, I'd say it's fate or something, but I'm sure you know I don't believe in any of that. That's fate. I wouldn't dream of suggesting it. Fancy that. Side-by-side -side seats. I know I should be watching the performance, but I can't help but watch Mika. He's so into it. It's adorable. Something about this place, this night. It's like it wiped away all the bickering from rehears rehears rehearsals and took me back to our night in the park. I had that weird feeling in my stomach again. The good one. So, did that make you change your tune on Shakespeare? I may be coming round. What do you think of the actors? I think there was something to aspire to. Those pros better watch out for you. Mm, better watch out for you. That's what I was thinking. Of course you were. He's so big headed, isn't he? <laughs> Someday, right? Start with North Shore High School, put on a few college productions, eventually grace the stage with your talent. Now you're just mocking me. I might be. I deserved it. I'm really glad you came, Green Eyed. Me too. Surely there's like somebody... I was just don't keep thinking there's going to be like somebody that he's with or something, but he can't be. <laughs> see you Monday then. Yeah, see you Monday. Stop him, let him go. Ooh, let's stop him. Hey, Mika. Yeah? Will you take my picture with the poster? You know, prove I was here. Not as shy as we were at the museum, are we? I'm coming round too. Okay, but only if you take mine. Wait, actually, smile. Ah, together. Me and the coolest gal at North Shore. They can't even see the poster now though. <laughs> uh, share to Instagram, no, don't share. The theatre geek and the supermodel. Ha, <laughs> you look great too. I'll send it to you. Done. See you Monday. Oh, that was nice. Sticking around to flirt with Mika almost made me miss my train. But I managed to board just in time and so did someone else. Again, this is getting kind of silly. It really is. I'm not going to say fate. Good, then I won't say destiny. I figured you drove. I like the train. Another one of your quiet thinking spots. And true to form, you're interrupting my peace and quiet again. But I don't mind, I like it. 10 minutes later. It's probably one of Shakespeare's less saccharine works, but it just doesn't ring true. I still disagree, exactly like I said the first day I met you. It's not that love doesn't exist, it's that people are afraid to express it. Okay, 
I'll indulge you. Why? Why? Because it makes them vulnerable. They're exposed. The other person might not feel the same, and that's scary. Uh, I mean, maybe you're right. But you'll never know without taking that risk, unless the other person takes it first. Hint, hint. <laughs> Pretty sophisticated insight from someone who's never been in a relationship. You've really never had a boyfriend? No, you pretty much hit the nail on the head. My mum always wanted me to focus on school. And I was good at it, so that's what I did. That's not a bad thing. It wasn't until this Yale waitlist put my entire life's work in jeopardy. The admissions committee makes its decision in a week. I need some kind of miracle or I can kiss my dream goodbye. So now it's my turn. Why are you so certain that love is a lie? Sometimes I forget you're new here. You know that girlfriend Regina mentioned? How could I forget? She was talking about my ex. She went to another school. We were together three years. Three years? Aren't they like 15 or something? 60? Oh no, maybe they must be 80. Three years? What happened? What happened? I caught her lying to me. About what? She... I don't want to get into it. I thought it was a one-time thing, but turns out it was an all-the-time thing. She lied and and cheated on me a bunch. I walked into one of Glenn's parties and saw her. Well, what I saw was the final straw. That explains his intense aversion to that party. Be sympathetic, be angry or lighten the mood. Let's be sympathetic. I'm so sorry. Well, you know, life. Sure, but summing up bad experiences as life it doesn't make the emotions any less potent. I'm really sorry you had to go through that. Thanks, it definitely wasn't pleasant. You deserve way better. I think you're awesome. I think you're awesome too. That's probably why I freaked out after we kissed. Yeah, you kind of turned into a real jerk. I thought I did something wrong. Not at all, I'm really sorry. I just wasn't sure if I was ready to go there again. After everything with her, it, it's whatever. She used me and it's in the past. But it is why I have a really hard time trusting people now. If he ever finds out why I started the play in the first place. This is us. You want to ride back to your place? Sure. So I was thinking, when you first auditioned, I really wasn't sure why you were there. Uh-oh. What do you mean? You seemed so wishy-washy on doing my play, and I saw you sign up for all those clubs, so I was kind of questioning your motivation, but seeing you in the park that time and then here tonight, I can tell you actually care about it too. <laughs> yeah, surprise me even. So if you want the part, it's yours. You mean the lead? Like, not a share it with Regina situation? Going into this, you both knew I had to pick one eventually, and I pick you. Will you be my leading lady? Yes, yes, yes! Sorry, I didn't get that. Was that a yes? Funny. Alright, well, have a good night, green-eyed. Yay, we got the leading lady! What an incredible night. While my evening ended on a high note, Regina's song turned sour. Hmm, what's going on? Well, that party sucked. At least I got some good footage. Let me see. Wait, are you seeing this? Oh, what is it? Mika, oh, Mika posted a selfie with Greenoid. He never posts anything. Were they on a date? Oh, they'd be so cute. No, Karen, they would not be so cute. Oh. This, they, I, Regina was not very happy with me. <laughs> She's mad. I think that must be... Yeah, there you go. That is episode 12. That was a really kind of successful episode, wasn't it? it says, uh, episode 13 is opening night of Mika's play and you're ready for your big debut. But Regina isn't pleased that you're the lead. Uh-oh, something bad is going to happen next time, I reckon. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.